Supreme Court Associate Justice Marvik Leonin. Photo from Supreme Court of the Philippines website Manila, the House of Representatives on Tuesday referred the impeachment complaint against Supreme Court Associate Justice Marvik Leonin to its Justice Committee, more than five months after it was filed. The matter was referred by Deputy Speaker and Sajip Rep, Rodante Marcoleta during the plenary session after it was read out by the Secretariat. House Majority Leader and Late A Rep. Martin Romualdez said in a statement that the referral now shifts the focus of the impeachment process to the Justice Panel. Based on the House Rules of Procedure and Impeachment Proceedings, after hearing and by a majority vote of all its members, the Chamber's Committee on Justice will submit its report to the Chamber in 60 session days from the referral, together with the resolution. We believe that the Chairman and members of the House of Committee on Justice will act judiciously on the impeachment complaint based on constitutional grounds and in accordance with established rules and practices, said Ron Wildes. The impeachment complaint against Leonin was filed last dec. 7 by Edwin Cordovilla, Secretary General of the Filipino League of Advocates for Good Government. It cited the magistrate's alleged failure to timely act on cases, as well as his supposed failure to file his statements of assets, liabilities and net worth, SALN. Related video, the latter was used to oust Renato Corona and Lord Sereno from their positions as Chief Justice in the past. The complaint was endorsed by Ilocos Norte's 2nd District Rep, Angelo Barba, a cousin of defeated vice presidential candidate Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos whose electoral protest was supposedly delayed by Leonin. Ako Biko Rep. Alfredo Gerbine, a vice chair of the Justice Committee tasked to study impeachment complaints filed at the House, does not think the Justice Panel will have time to tackle the complaint before the June 5 signed die adjournment of Congress. Committees, however, have been traditionally allowed to hold hearings during recesses. Tingin Ko, Mu Kang Mahi Hirapan Casey Tingin Kolang, Sa Calendar of Business, Siampra Young Pag Prepare Rin in Committee on Justice, Tingnan Nadin Baka Siam Prapagnari Fur Yansa Committee, Baka Merun Pang Opposition Na Mag File, so, let's see, said Gurbin. I think it will be difficult because, if you will look at the calendar of business, the preparation of the Justice Committee alone and then of course, maybe some lawmakers will also oppose it. So, let's see, the committee is tasked to test the complaint for sufficiency in form, substance, grounds and probable cause. Young Mingakumite Banaman has its own exclusive jurisdiction. Marin Namang Time and since it is our duty and responsibility, under the rules, upon de referral to determine its sufficiency in form and in substance, Talagong Dapa Mag Hearing Young Committee on Justice, the lawmaker added. The committee has its own exclusive jurisdiction, we have time. The complaint should be heard before the Committee on Justice, Gerbin does not think that Leonin will be invited to face the House Committee anytime soon. Kung Dumating Young Oris Nakai Long on Mbidaheen, if ever, in the contemplation of the rules on impeachment, may ruin process of Nadapat Sundin Muna, he said. If the time will come where we need to invite him. There is a process to follow first, should the complaint be deemed sufficient in form and substance, then that is when Leonin would be given 10 days to file his answer, according to Gurbin. Kung be sufficient in form, CM Breedy dismiss Naka Agadian. Kung sufficient in form naman, and, determination whether it is sufficient in substance, meaning there is a recital of the grounds relied upon by the complainant, so Deepak I Long on Ng hearing Dune. Deepak I Long on Ng appearancing respondent, which is in this case, Justice Leonin. If it is not sufficient in form, the case will be dismissed. But his appearance is not yet needed, while upon Ng appearance Dune. Papasagut and Papo, Malayo Payuan, Kumbaga Young Stage Kung San we can require the appearance of the respondent. We are still far from the stage where we can require his appearance, Leonin is one of the three remaining appointees of then President Benigno Aquino III to the High Court, the others being Senior Associate Justice Estela Perlas Bernabe and Associate Justice Benjamin Kagiawa. The last impeachment proceedings in the House was against Sereno, but the House did not get to vote on her case as her appointment was nullified by the tribunal. Adblock Test, Why?